Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, it's Fergie and friends, and it's story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, mums, dads, girls, boys, aunts, and uncles, and Granny and Grandpa. And we are live from Little Red at Buttercup Cottage here in Bluebell Wood. Hello, Bluebells. Look at the beautiful Bluebells. And we're at the farm in the room of the farmyard. And so we have the big, nice red ruby tra tractor. Vroom, 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 vroom. And we're here and it's so exciting. Oh, we've got a green big tractor here too. Yes. Oh, how exciting is that? Now then, on we go. I'll use my son. Here we are. A bit quick beam of light. Ding, 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 ding. Wonderful. My sunflower. My sunflower for all the children of the Ukraine. Beam of light and my big sunflower. That's the flower everybody needs to know. The flower of the Ukraine. Yes. May you shine light. May you shine light. May you bring peace. No more war. My friend out there. Olga. Hello, Olga. I'm right here. And David and Sophie. I'm right here thinking about you. Anyway, lots and lots of love and we're, we're from Buttercup Cottage in Bluebell Wood and here are the lovely Bluebells and on we go. That's not the plan created by Hannah Davison, Flicker Williams and Marco Palmieri. That's not the plan. Oh, I wonder what the plan is. Dearest August, life is a wild adventure with a friend by your side, a book in your hand and ideas in your head. You'll always be ready for anything. Very best wishes, very best wishes from all of us at my big moments, Hannah, Flicker, Marco and Joe. Perry and his best friend August were all ready for their camping adventure. Do you need to bring all of that? asked Perry's dad. Yes, said Perry, I might need it. Okay, let's hit the road, said dad, said his dad. Well, I don't think he meant to hit the road. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? asked August as the car bumped along the road. Kathump, kathump, kathump. Perry's mum took a long, slow breath and looked at Perry's dad. Well, that wasn't part of the plan, she said. It's all right, said Perry's dad. We'll sort it out. It turned out to be a perfect place to eat their lunch. When they got to the campsite, the wind whipped up trouble and, and raindrops stung their cheeks. The instructions were snatched away from Perry's dad as he tried to hang on to, onto the flap, flapping tent. Perry slumped down in a tangle of tent poles. I give up, he said. I'm going home. August was cold and wet. Nothing was work working. Camping is stupid, he said, throwing the tent place onto the ground. Well, this wasn't part of the plan, said Perry's dad, laughing as they took a little break. This is much trickier than we expected, isn't it? I said Perry's mum. It does feel frustrating, but we'll figure it out. After a mug of hot chocolate, they came up with a new plan. Then Perry and August felt ready to try again. I wonder what the plan is. Whoa, can you believe what we built, said Perry. But there's one more thing to make it perfect, said August. Toasted marshmallows, yummy yum. Perry and August went to collect firewood. They ventured deeper and deeper into the forest. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Wait, which way is our camp, asked August, spinning around. He couldn't see which way they had come from. There was a cold, sinking feeling in Perry's belly. His head felt dizzy. Oh no, August, we're lost. What will we do? We have to wait for a grown-up to find us, said August. This was not part of the plan. <gasps> August noticed Perry was worried. Let's play a game, he said. Name something you can see. Perry looked around. Um, hmm, I can see a colourful bird, he said, pointing up into the trees. OK, my turn. Tell me anything you can smell. August breathed in the smells of the forest. I smell wood and flowers, he said. What about something you feel? Perry closed his eyes. The wind is blowing my hair around. It tickles, he said, giggling. He was starting to feel better. Whoa, what about something you can hear? August listened. Birds chirped in the trees and leaves rustled in the breeze. He heard another sound too. His heart jumped. Someone's calling us, he said. Now we know our way home. Yay! Around the crackling fire, they ate warm, squishy marshmallows, sang songs, and laughed until their cheeks hurt. Now this is more like the plan, said Perry. Okay, hold on, here we have it. 
Later that night, the two tired friends snuggled into their sleeping bags and clicked off their torches. But in the dark outside their tent, they noticed a terrible, horrible monster, they yelled. Monster. What's going on? asked Perry's mum. A monster, said Perry, with creepy arms and an angry growl coming this way, said August. Feeling scared, eh? asked Perry's mum. They both nodded. Well, that's not the plan, she said, but I think this is a monster mystery we can solve. Come on, worry detectives, follow me. I wonder what the monster is. Being as brave as they could, the worry detectives tiptoed outside. The bright moon beamed down, casting shadows through the trees. A moaning wind made the branches wave and their hair ruffled around their faces. It's not a monster at all, said August. It's the wind and the moon. But I can still hear footsteps, said Perry in a wobbly voice. That's just your dad, said August. The glowing moon and a scatter of stars lit up the blue night sky. It made Perry and August feel so big and at the same time so very, very small. Back in bed, the two friends were wide awake. The moon had just taught them a cool new trick. Mmm, making funny faces. This trip did not really go to plan, said Perry. It was full of surprises. I wonder what will happen next. I don't know, said August, but it'll be fun finding out. Well, that's the right attitude, isn't it? And for any grown-up that's reading this book, resiliency, hmm, the ability to face challenges or setbacks and see a way forward. Problem solving, exercising, role model, en engaging in child-led, adult-supported free play. So many different wonderful ideas of how to entertain children. So. That's not the plan created by Hannah Davison, Flicker Williams and Marco Palmieri. Thank you, it was a lovely book. Thank you so much. With Fergie and friends, with Fergie and friends.